Namaste. Hello, welcome to another week of family yoga. I'm Aspen and this is Scarlett. Scarlett. And today we're going to start with a few different kinds of breathing techniques or pranayama. And so we're going to walk through some of these. So the first one we're going to do, make sure you get comfortable in easy pose. So you're sitting crisscross applesauce. And the first breath we're going to do kind of sounds like a bee. We're going to do humming breaths. So if you want to face your partner, and we're going to put our hands on our knees here, and we're going to breathe in through our nose, and then when we breathe out through our mouth, we're going to make a humming or a buzzing sound, kind of like a bee. So are we ready? Set. Hmm. Let's try it again. Good. Oh, there's your wings. Wings are coming out. Good job. And this time we're going to pretend that we're going to go to flowers, okay? So we're going to lean to a flower. Ready? And up. Lean to another flower. One more time, lean to one in the center. Good job. What kinds of flowers did you see when you were doing this activity? Did you see any particular type of flower? Was it a rose or a daisy or a violet? I saw, saw, Yeah. Yeah. I saw me. Oh, good. Make sure you don't touch the painting, but you saw tulips, huh? Very cool. And I saw those. And you saw those. Those look kind of like tulips, too. Maybe more like peonies, huh? We have those in our yard, too. Very nice. And I saw roses. Roses. Those are awesome. So you saw lots of great flowers. Yeah. All right, so let's have a seat. We're going to do our next breathing activity. So you want to sit crisscross applesauce in front of Mommy here. Okay? Oh, right here so I can see you. There you go. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is ocean breath. So we're going to pretend that we're going to the beach today. Okay? And we're going to breathe in. And then when we breathe out, it's going to sound like a wave. So breathe into your nose. And you have to really make it sound like, like the sea line, you know, where the shore, uh, the waves are coming in and out with the tide. Ready? Let's do another one. Very good. Let's do one more. Now our next one, I'm going to teach you a new kind of breathing called candle breath. So this is a good one to do for your birthday, any birthday parties that you go to. So we're going to sit in easy pose again. And when we breathe, we're actually going to make our lips go like this and blow out the candles when we blow out. Okay, so ready in. Good job. Let's do another one. Breathe in. Really pretend you're blowing out candles on a cake. Ready? How many candles would you blow out this year? What are you going to turn next? Six. No. Ten. Oh my goodness. Ready? Let's blow out all of those candles. Good job. Okay, so now that we've, oh, you want to do six now? How about one, two, all the way to ten? Okay, ready? Very nice. So now we're going to get into our movement part of the day. So let's stand on our mats. Make sure your mat is spread out and that it's not all folded up there. Good job. 
Okay, so now you're gonna stand at the back of your mat so you have plenty of room in the front of you. So there should be a lot of mat in front of you. So stand right at the bottom of the fox's toes there. Yep, there you go. We're gonna start with, we're gonna do a couple sun salutations, ready? So remember, stand in mountain pose, stand up really tall, make sure that your head feels like it's stretching up to the sky, your shoulders are spreading out, your fingers are strong, and you feel your feet in the floor and spread your toes out and really grip the floor with your toes. Try that. How's that feel to really grip the floor? Okay, now we're gonna breathe in. And back. And down. Peek up like a turtle at your partner. Say hi. And back down. Now this is where you need to back up onto your mat a little bit because we're gonna walk it out to your favorite downward dog. So go ahead into downward dog. Make sure your head is staying with your spine. Oh, you want to go under the bridge? You can go under the bridge one time here. Okay. <laughs> under the bridge one time. There you go. And let's see you do downward dog. Okay, good job. Now we're going to walk it out to plank. And look up at your partner. And then you're going to sink down to your belly. And you're gonna come up and breathe. And go. And then tuck your toes. Back up to downward dog again. Bring your feet forward. Oh, no bridge this time. No bridge this time. Bring your feet forward. And slowly come back up. Arms up. And your heart. And again, we really want to get warmed up here. Yeah, almost, almost stay again. Ready? Up. Back. Down. Good job. Peek. Breathe out. Walk it out to downward dog. Make sure you stay on your mat. And do one. Nope, through the bridge over here, honey. Not through there. Through here. Okay, go ahead through. Oh, can't move the hands. <laughs> there we go. Go into your downward dog. Let's see you do it. Can you say, ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff. let's see if you can pick up one leg. Can you pick up a leg? Pick up your other leg. Now go both. forward to plank. Do both. I don't think we could do both yet. All the way down. Up and breathe. Forehead back down. Back up to downward dog. And step up to mountain. And slowly curl up. Your head should be the last thing that comes up. Shake it out one last time, but this time we're gonna to try to go a little faster. Ready? And back, and down, and peek, and down. Step it out, stay in your downward dog there for this one, because this is a faster one. And plank, oh, we're gonna to go to plank. And come down. your toes back up and walk it in and when we go to mountain shake it all out you feel warmed up okay, we'll do that in a little bit okay all right so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down into rock pose. So go ahead to your knees and put your hands way out front of you. Spread out your fingers and let your forehead touch the ground. Hold it there. Breathe in and out. Now we're going to go up to table. So let's stand in table pose. You want to stand on your knees. Have your hands in front of you. We're gonna do cat and cow here. So what way does cat go? The cat arches their back 
and the cow moves, right? So we go like this for cat, arch your back, and then move, you make your back arch the other way. And cat, job. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try something a little bit harder this week. So we're going to stay in this pose. Make sure you are on your mat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do drawings at the end. So go ahead here. And I want you to take your left hand. Everybody lift up your left hand. And put it out in front of you when you're in this pose. Now take your right foot and stick your right foot out. Whoa, it's opposite. Oh my goodness. Try the other way. Take your right hand. Put that out. Mm -hmm. And your left hand out. Or your right hand out, your left foot out. Let's try the other side. Oh, you can't do both at once. <laughs> We're going to be floating, huh? Try the opposite. And other side. There we go. Good shot. That's it. Get your partner. And we'll slowly put our hands down. And then we're going to thread the needle. So take your left hand, stick it through. And relax there for a little bit. I'm going to do a couple breaths here, you can. And come back up. Let's do the other side. Thread the needle through. There we go. You're doing good. Breathe here. Come back up. Let's go back to rock pose. And now we're going to sit up and we're going to use staff pose. So go ahead and stick both of your feet out in front of you. Make your back really tall and you're going to lift and try to touch your toes. Try to look down at your knees too. That will help. And then you're going to bring one leg in. And this is half staff here. And then switch. One leg out. Half staff here. Good job. Bring them both in. Drop them down. We're going to do butterfly. So, what color is your butterfly wings today? You want me to go first? Mine will be orange. I could do orange and red and yellow. What would you like to do? Green, I could do all of the colors. What would you like to do? I would like to do green, purple, blue, and pink. Cool. Blue, purple, pink, and green. Sounds like a beautiful butterfly. So where is your butterfly flying today? I go first. I think I'm going to go to the rainforest because I want to see what the sky looks like above the canopy. Me too. Sounds like a fun trip, huh? Ready? Let's go and we'll breathe when we go. Close your eyes. Imagine the rainforest around you. All the trees are popping up. All the foliage. You hear all the little creatures and use your wings. Oh, you could see Azul. Azul's a very special butterfly, huh? Yeah. yeah. We can even listen to the story. We could do that at the end. That sounds like a good ending. Very nice idea. Okay, so 
Let's see if we can do a twist. So put your right leg over your left leg and turn and twist and look over your shoulder. And try it with your other leg. So stick your feet back out to the center. And bring this one up. And then we're going to twist and turn. Look over your shoulder. And we're going to shake our legs out. Now come up to stand, and we are going to do a couple standing poses. And the first one, you're going to start at the very front of your mat. So come as close to me as you can. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's how it goes. Yeah. You want to stand over on your spot? I'm as close as I can get. You are as close as you can get, huh? <laughs> All right, ready? You're going to do warrior. Warrior one. Mm -hmm. We will show them. Yeah. Okay, ready? Take your right foot back. Get your warrior arms up. Straight up. That's a girl. Oh, good. Good job. And look very proud and strong. And breathe here. Try your candle breath. Let's come back to center. Try the other foot. And lower your back. And back to center. Okay. Now we are going to step out to the side. We're going to do star pose. And pretend you're twinkling. Stretch your arms out to the sides. Really twinkle, 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 twinkle. Oh, jumping jack star pose, huh? Your star is really twinkling. <laughs> All right. So let's turn our feet out like this. And we are going to go to the side here. It takes a little bit of balance, huh? You can hold on if you need to. And then back up to twinkling in the center. Do your other side. Make sure you bend your knee. Back up to center. Let's do our warrior pose. So to the side. Okay, you can take a break if you need to. Yes. Okay. Back up to center. And then warrior over here. try tree? We can do double tree. Oh, you're tired? Your legs are tired. Okay. Well, we'll just do, tr I'll just do tree then. You can tell me how I do. Okay. All right. So we can do tree with either what? The kickstand or we can actually bring our leg up, right? For double tree. So you want to hold my hand and get your foot into the kickstand or all the way up and then bring your other arm up and sway in the wind. Oh, not too far, huh? Oh my goodness, not too far. I know. I'm gonna try again. There you go. I'm gonna try opposite side. See if you can do the kickstand on the other foot. That's a girl. Ready? Set. Arm up. Oh my, good job. Just don't fall. Okay, can you try elevator with me? Another partner pose. Yep. Yep. Now bend and push up. See if you can hold it there. And bend and push up. Okay. Very slowly, see if you can help your partner. Let's do sideways elevator, ready? Just one hand. So let go of this hand here, there you go. And bend, and push up. We'll try 
by the other side. Oh, yep, this way. Then, push up. Very good. And push up. Thank you. Nice job. Okay. Do you have any special poses that you want to try today? Chair. You want to try chair? Chair is your favorite. Let's see chair. Okay. Oh, you want to do the sitting chair. Okay. So partner chair. Huh? Here's partner chair. Whoa. Good job. All right. You can step off now. Do you want to do twist? Partner twist? Let's sit in easy pose. Legs like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to sit in easy pose? Oh my. And how do we do this? We here hold. And this one goes around. And then we twist. Good job. And now we do the opposite. Ready? Okay, one, two. Three. Like my hand gonna go around. You should go like this with this hand. Oh, with this hand, other hand. Bring that one around, and I'll get this one. Okay, good. Are you ready to do your um, your little breathing activity and listen to your sleep story? After we're done. Okay, we'll draw at the end then, okay? All right, so let's have you lay down on your mat. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do, yep. All right, so go ahead and lay down, honey. Delicate fans. Sp 
spongy mushrooms silently stretch tender mycelium from deep underground. The air is cool and wet. Silver scaled fish swim beneath giant water lilies that float on pools of shimmering water. Leaves, some smaller than a flea and others larger than an elephant's ears, tumble from every crack and crevasse. And from beneath one of these leaves, Azul emerged. Azul had just woken from a two week long slumber. It was a very long time to sleep, but as she slept, something special and wonderful happened to her body. Like a cozy sleeping bag, a shell called a chrysalid had grown from her own smooth caterpillar skin. Beneath that shell, Azul had grown wings. Okay. Well, this is a super long sleep story, so we're going to stop it here for today because that was only a little chunk of it, but that was a nice chunk of it, huh? It's a 30-minute story. But you can do a sleep story, and that can really help you with relaxing, too. So let's tell everybody goodbye for today. So let's sit towards the